Hi, today I am showing you what you get, how the basics of a Gear Trident 9 and uh, 6 speed 996 Carrera 2 gearbox works. So for each pair, uh, one is fixed to the shaft and then uh, one rotates on the shaft. So for example, first and second are fixed onto the input shaft and all other, so this, uh, First and second are on the input shaft. Every single other one, including third, fourth, fifth, sixth, is on the output shaft. The gear will carry on rotating until it is fixed onto the shaft by the selector. My, my assistant will show you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so the so the reverse gear will carry on moving as well as, as the other gears, but it will need to change when you when you go into reverse gear. It needs to change the direction. So uh, there will be an idle gear in the nose of the gearbox, which is just there. The control of so the control of these of the gear selectors which are here. Are what are done by the by the selector forks, which I'll get my assistant to show. So there are two cables used for operating the gearbox. One cable attaches to here, which moves backwards and forwards. So that will select between neutral and first and second, or third and fourth. You can see there are some detents on here, which mean it stays in the correct gear when the gear is selected. That's what uh, sort of springs it into gear. So that moves this section here, it moves this rod up and down. This rod is rotated by the other cable, which attaches to here. So when it's at the end position here, it will select this fork and will select, move up and down to select between first and second. When it's in the next position, it will move this fork up and down to select between third and fourth. Then further across here, it will move this one up and down to select between fifth and sixth. And then all the way across, it will move this one up and down to select reverse. Now each of these forks has a lockout. If you just look in here, there's a plate here, which when the fork moves one way or the other, it moves this plate to stop the other forks moving. So only one shift fork can move at a time. So that's how the gearbox operates.